G'day, I'm Rob Malicki and welcome to A Life That Travels. And today I'm at the University of New South Wales. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about everything to do with UNSW, the sorts of subjects you can study here, how it ranks, um, and basically what you can expect from the experience of studying at this university. So by the end of this video, you should have a much better idea about whether or not this is the institution for you. Um, I've been working in and around the Australian universities for over 20 years now, and I can tell you, out of all the places that I've visited all over the country, this central walk walkway is like one of my favorite places in any university in the country. Let's go and have a walk around and have a look. University of New South Wales was founded in 1949 and has very quickly become not only one of the leading universities in Australia, typically ranked inside the top five, um, third or fourth often, but also one of the top universities in the world, very often inside the top 50 and almost always inside the top 100. So it's an institution that offers a huge range of subject areas to choose from, flexible degrees, um, and disciplines that rank incredibly well. The thing that I absolutely love about here is just the absolutely spectacular campus as you can see. So much to do on campus and so much open space. It's got this wonderful vibe um, and this beautiful blend of old and new. The university has invested quite a lot in its infrastructure over recent years and it really shows in this spectacular campus. The university is located about 10 kilometres south of the Sydney CBD and in the past you used to have to take a bus from Central Train Station in order to get here but opening um, very very soon, possibly by the time you're watching this video, is a brand new um, metro light rail line connecting Central Station, um, in fact it goes all the way down to Circular Quay um, with the University of New South Wales, so literally right here. So public transport is about to get dramatically easier to get you to the university and of course that gives you access to lots of other parts of Sydney. The university itself is located um, in the eastern suburbs so Bondi Beach and the other eastern city beaches aren't that far from here making it a pretty spectacular place to come and live and study. I'm just down on Anzac Parade and just the other side of the road there is NIDA which is the National Institute for Dramatic Arts. Obviously one of the uh, the most famous um, performance arts teaching institutes in the entire country, if not the most famous, connected to the university. So just across the road and over this side, you've got all the facilities of the institution itself. So if NIDA is where you're heading, not bad. Quite funny because the university has 53,000, maybe more by now, maybe 55 or 56,000 students but it's pretty quiet on campus today um, they've just finished uh, the first trimester of the year so perhaps students are off studying and getting assessments done that sort of stuff 53,000 students about 32,000 undergraduate students and then another 20 odd thousand postgrads which is quite impressive 6,000 administrative staff so a very large Australian University but um, the institution has spent a lot of time uh, on its structure in recent years. The university's a member of a number of different institutional groupings. Most famously, I suppose, in Australia is the Group of Eight or the Sandstone Universities. Sandstone University's been the oldest um, institutions in the country, pretty much, and the most um, uh, research intensive and academically uh, high performing institutions in the country, the, the group of eight. But it's also part of Universitas 21, um, which is a major international ranking of some of the world's leading universities. There's only 21 institutions in that, and uh, uh, obviously the University of New South Wales is one of them. It includes institutions like the University of British Columbia, 
um, University of California at Davis, um, University of Delhi, University of Edinburgh, University of Hong Kong, um, not to mention a couple of other universities in Australia and very reputable universities in Japan such as Waseda University. This institution is a comprehensive university, it means you can pretty much study most topics here and you'll also find that the individual subject areas and disciplines that are taught at UNSW are individually ranked amongst the highest in Australia. So that's covering off art and design, built environment, business, engineering, law, medicine, science, arts and social sciences. And of course, the Australian Defence Force Academy, Academy down in Canberra, but an excellent institution academically all round. Hi everyone, this is Sarah. Hello. And we're at UNS UNSW. <laughs> yeah, UNSW. <laughs> Technically now at UNSW Sydney, uh, just to clarify. UNSW is fine. <laughs> it's fine. But like this central section of the university is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. So this is our main walkway. So if you look up there, that's like the main fancy building where they do fancy talks. But then if you go down that way, you've got all these big trees and lights. And at nighttime, when the lights are on and the leaves are falling, it's just one of the most beautiful things to see because it's quiet, you've had a long day and it's finally done. And you just finish it walking through that walkway and it's it's spectacular. Awesome. And so going down that way, we if, if we go all the way down to the bottom, we end up hitting um, Anzac Parade. Anzac Parade, yep. thank you. And so that's pretty much like buses and soon to be a tram, right? Yeah, so we're going to get a tram. I think the tram's more on High Street, mm -hmm. on that way. But Anzac Parade, there's buses running all yeah. the time into the centre of the city. Um, it can be a bit busy, but they're pretty consistent. Are you, do you live near here? Are you in this part of the no, city? No, I'm actually pretty far away. I'm right up in the northern beaches, uh -huh. so it takes me about an hour and a half to get to you. Wow. Yeah. Where? I'm in French's Forest. Yeah, I'm in French's Forest No well. way! <laughs> we could have filmed this in French's Forest! We could have, but we've already <laughs> trekked it an hour and a half here. How on earth do you get from French's Forest to here? Bus, so, train, bus. Bus, train, bus. Oh, that's yeah. Perfect. But there's almost must be a pretty good reason. Like, so why, why did you choose UNSW? Then? So, I basically, I came to the open day and I just fell in love with it mm. straight away. I loved the vibe, I loved the societies. UNSW also does a lot of double degrees and I couldn't decide between just science or just arts. Nice. And UNSW offers both, so I was like, might as well go here. It's like the perfect degree um, that suits my needs. But yeah, I. I don't know how else to explain it, but it was just like literally the vibe of it when I came to the mm. open day. I just, I loved it, so. What does open day look like here? So do they, is it up and down this kind of main it's area? It's hectic. It's up and down the main walkway. You've got stalls everywhere. Mm. You've got all the societies. You've got all the faculties. You've got like games going on. Like there's, there was a jumping castle <laughs> at my open cool. day. It's absolutely hectic and you get like a million freebies. Nice. Yeah. But what's it like here? I really like it here. It's yep. a very pretty campus. Mm -hmm. There's lots of places to like sit and get food. Um, it's great because we've got our little kind of uni bar down at the bottom, the roundhouse, and that's perfect for a beer after an organic chemistry lecture, let me tell you. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I didn't make it through organic chem. <laughs> no, you need, you need a beer to make it through organic chem. But um, no, it's a really nice campus. The, the only, like the biggest downside is that it's built on a hill. Yeah, true. So if you have a lecture at the top of campus and one at the bottom, yeah. you got to run. It's it's really... It's big, and it is. It's a very big campus, isn't it? It's quite a big campus. They give you 10 minutes time to make it from one tutorial or lecture to another, but you need 15 minutes if you're going up that hill. It's, it's a lot of stairs and it's... You have to, you've got to work out before you come to this uni. <laughs> but if you do come, you don't need a gym membership because you are going to be going up those stairs a lot. Nice. So. This I really love. On the ground, they basically have all of these instructions for students to follow. So pretty much everyone has got their heads down on their phones all the time. Where do you put your notices? Don't stick them on the wall, stick them on the ground. Very important part of every university, coffee. We're talking about academic disciplines, the Uni of New South Wales has nine specific disciplines that actually rank first in Australia. And outside of that, it has the most academic disciplines 
that rank in their top 100 in the world out of all the Australian universities. Uh, from memory, it's like 38 individual subject areas rank in the top 100 in the world. So once again, academically a very, very prestigious, thorough research institution. All of the kinds of facilities that you would expect of a university of this size. Health services, dentists, chemists, travel agents. So the nine areas where the university is top in the world are finance, water resources, management, mechanical engineering, remote sensing, library and information science, civil engineering, and instrument science and technology. So very strong in the sciences areas. This is one of the things that's very close to my heart. Study abroad and exchange section of the university. And the UN, UN, University of New South Wales has got one of the best overseas study programs in the entire country. So both from the opportunity to go and do a semester exchange program or to do something shorter term, um, like a study tour or a short term program at a university overseas, uh, internships, there are so many different opportunities for UNSW students to study abroad, which is such a huge boost to your resume. And these guys, the study abroad and exchange team, are the ones that can help make it happen for you. A university library just behind me and one of the things I'm just loving about this campus, and particularly at this time of year, I mean, the trees are changing colour, the leaves are falling, but you've still got flowers out. It's absolutely spectacular. And I just love the fact that even though the university is sort of split across these different levels, you end up with these remarkable sort of enclosed spaces that are still quite open and spacious, but still semi-enclosed. And it just gives the university this absolutely extraordinary vibe where, yeah, this is a really big university. But you know what? It doesn't feel like it. It actually feels quite intimate in a lot of the places, just because of the way that they've made really clever use of the space. It's extraordinary. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. To the right is lecture theatre and work. To the left is food. What would a uni student choose? <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Well, I've very much enjoyed my little visit to the University of New South Wales for so many reasons. But how can you say no to this? It's absolutely extraordinary. A university that's academically awesome, has managed to create a really good student vibe, and where you have heaps of opportunities. Doesn't sound like many negatives to me. Now, of course, all big universities, you are gonna have to be a little bit more proactive in terms of taking care of yourself here and getting things sorted and seeking out opportunities. But I tell you what, University of New South Wales, this looks like a pretty awesome option. I think you'd be very happy studying here. I'm Rob Maliki, and I'll see you next time on Life to Travels.